physics looked finished in structure when James Clerk Maxwell proposed electromagnetic theory of light. It was in 1860s he proposed the wave theory of light and in the following years for to, to, some, uh, to something like 20-30 years it was confirmed and proved by Hendrik Hertz with his experiments. While he was experimenting on radio waves, he proved that radio waves also travel at, at a speed of light. And he also confirmed that uh, it is a wave theory satisfa satisfactorily explaining the theory of light. However, it was the time when you know wave theory was getting established and the particle theory was vanishing. Surprisingly, in the next 30 years, the already established wave theory was started falling apart. A kind of in experimentations on the photoelectric effect, kind of x-rays, Radio, phenomena of radioactivity, metals emitting radiation, uh, solids um, emitting radiation, all these concepts were uh, not completely explained with the wave theory of light. So it was uh, the time when scientists were looking, physicists were looking for a new uh, way of explanation of these concepts. At this point of time, Max Planck was experimenting on black body radiation. He was uh, working on black body paradox. His experimentation was to find out uh, the emission of, of, of uh, black body radiation uh, at different energies. However, uh, his experiments were giving a kind of uh, surprising results. He could find out that the intensity of the radiation that the black body is emitting is directly proportional to the intensity of electrons or uh, projected electrons that are particles on the on the black body. But the, but the other uh, uh, point finding what uh, he, uh, he found was unable to you know solve uh, uh, with the existing principle of uh, electromag electromagnetic wave theory of light. So it was the concept like uh, the emitted radiation was not of the expected uh, spectrum of light. So a body heated uh, started uh, has to emit ultraviolet radiation but it was emitting infrared radiation that is indirectly it is emitting heat so this was actually a bit you know perplexing uh, to explain and max planck came out with his own conclusion of uh, of this kind of strange phenomenon of black body radiation and he proposed that energy is not a continuous wave form that is getting emitted but rather it is a kind, a kind of a quantum it comes in packets so that concept or proposal by max planck uh, really solved the uh, radiation um, black body radiation problem he proposed uh, 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 one fine uh, equation which we write like E this is energy of the radiation is equal to H nu this is nu which is we call it as nu this is the frequency this is the radiation energy radiation energy
and this uh, is a constant which uh, we call as a uh, you know, Planck's constant. So here you can see that the frequency dependent energy packets are getting emitted from the black body. This concept of quanta was taken by Albert Einstein and uh, he proved a photoelectric effect. Here, uh, what uh, Max Planck was taken, like the emission of energy is in quanta, why not the absorption of the energy also in quanta is what is taken by Albert Einstein and he proposed that photoelectric effect is nothing but the reason that it absorbs energy in quanta. It will not continuously to absorb energy. And that's how it, it uh, stimulates the electrons to a higher energy level and thereby it emits electric, I mean uh, kind of photoelectric effect. That's how the, the reverse application of this Max Planck's concept, proposed concept was taken by Albert Einstein to prove this theory of photoelectric effect and the same kind of quanta, you know, this is what uh, Planck, Max Planck proposed word like quanta. Energy so it's not a continuous thing. It come it it is is a packet of energy instead of continuous energy. We call it as a quantum. And this concept satisfactorily could explain the already existing unknown experimentations about X-rays radioactivity, theory of radioactivity and photoelectric effect were explained satisfactorily this. Now let me take uh, a kind of ex example of a uranium-235. I will take uranium-235, let's say I take an electron, uh, atom of uranium-235. Now imagine this uh, atom fissions and the particles of the fission <coughs> atom uh, travels in random directions and get imparts you know, energy on the surroundings other medium and it produces heat this is the concept behind nuclear reactors so the energy which is well organized and stored kind here is becoming you know transformed into heat energy it becomes into heat and that is what we take in reactors so when <coughs> the energy is uh, disordered it is converting into heat okay when energy is disordered it is getting converted into heat that means there can be disorder without energy. There can be disorder. There can be disorder without energy. As energy can be there without disorder, here energy is there without disorder. When and see, disorder can also be there without energy. And when energy and when disorder is energized, when this disorder is is if I consider disorder is something like that, if you supply energy, it becomes heat. This is what we call as heat. Okay. There can be disorder without energy. There is an energy without disorder. There can be a uh, disorder without energy. When the energy is 
supply to disorder or when energy is getting into disorder, disorder becomes heat. It turns into heat. Disorder turns into heat. So that means there is a you know kind of two dimensionality to heat. So we need two parameters to completely describe heat. One is quantity of heat the other one is this is the quantity of heat the other one is disorder of I should not write heat but I am right. This is, it comes in calories and I write this as an entropy. Thank you.